Christ. My brothers and sisters, before we meditate on today's theme, let's all close our eyes for a moment. And those who are viewing this Mass online, let's pray that the Holy Spirit God help us to meditate on this word. And as we meditate, let every word that speaks to us may speak to our hearts, speak to our problems, and speak to our every pain that we go through. Heavenly Father, as we meditate your word, we ask you, Lord, to inspire us, to touch us with your word. May your Holy Spirit, O Lord, come upon us. As you were journeying along with the disciples of Emmaus, Lord, they said, were not our hearts burning when he spoke to us? Yes, o Lord, as you speak to us today about this theme, Mary, a mother of the church, Father God, we ask you that every word that speaks spoken to us may burn our hearts, and thus we receive this word into our hearts and live according to your word. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, indeed today we are meditating on the theme Mary, the mother of the church. And Father Arun in the morning mass has beautifully explained that we celebrate or we honor Mother Mary with various titles every month. And we have every month feast in honor of Mother Mary. Today we're going to reflect the same thing but in different way. How Mother Mary is mother to all of us. We all know that Mother Mary is mother of Jesus. In order to understand, we have a beautiful story from the book of Esther, chapter 4. There we read, the king has passed a decree telling that all the Jews should be killed. And Esther's for the foster father listens to this and then feels so sad and sends a word to Esther saying, Esther, you need to do something to save our Jews. Esther says, you know, I'm not supposed to go to the king until 31 days. If I appear before him, he may get enraged and then he may kill me. Then the same, the father, the foster father tells Esther, Esther, don't try to save yourself alone. After this, this Esther prays, fasting, making herself disguised in the form of dust. After praying, she goes to the king and tells the king, Master, O oh king, if you are pleased with me, please listen to my cry and save me and my people. The king who has passed the decree changes the whole scene of killing the Jews and he spares them. And the one who has had plot to kill all the Jews, the Haman, was put to death. The brothers and sisters, Esther is seen as a type of Mother Mary who saved the whole Jews from being persecuted. In the similar fashion, Mother Mary, each and every moment of our life, right from the beginning of the church till now, till today, till this moment, she's interceding for all of us. But how? She's our mother. How can we call us our mother? We all know that she's a mother of Jesus. And many of the Protestants claim saying, Jesus, Mother Mary is only mother of Jesus. And we can't call her a mother. But then, my dear brothers and sisters, Mother Mary, in the first, when she said yes to the will of God, she took the shape of Jesus in her womb, gave the flesh and blood to Jesus and brought into this world. And when reflecting on the Gospel of Luke, the glue clearly mentions saying that Jesus was the firstborn, or Mother Mary gave the birth to the firstborn. 
and we have a doubt there then who is the second born are there children who are born after jesus and many protestants say yes there are children born to mother mary after jesus is it so but we say no and who are this second born who are the other children it is we who are spiritual children my dear brothers and sisters saint getrut has was having a doubt when reading this passage from the gospel of luke when it she came to the passage reading you know mother mary gave birth to the first born and she was disturbed and asking the lord lord is it you only were born to mother mary or there are the children and god has revealed to saint getrut saying it was i the first born and you are all also the children of my mother the spiritual children enjoying the same companionship same love that i enjoyed from my mother what a beautiful thing my dear brothers and sisters and the second thing that we all enjoy mother motherhood of mother mary mother of the church by her love by her love in the gospel reading today we heard that at the cross jesus mother mary mother mary's sister and always surrounded by jesus and jesus on the cross and as a mother imagine a mother who is offering a son on the cross a, a son who has been completely weakened in flesh in spirit in body and then hanging on the cross and the mother who is who is standing there offering it to the lord why why my brothers and sisters it's because the doors of heaven were closed by the sin of adam and now with the offering of a son on the cross the heavens doors are open for all of us for all salvation all of of all of us my brothers and sisters imagine i'm sure all those who are watching this mass now you're also a mother of a child mother of children imagine if your son was beaten has wounds on his body bit by bit crying moaning and the blood oozing from the body at each and every corner of his body would you allow your son to die like that a good mother will go and fall at the feet of the soldiers and say spare my son spare my son i do not want my son to be killed like this or undergo a death like this but my dear brothers and sisters mother mary is a best mother not a good mother a best mother where she was also intending the good of all the children the spiritual children that they should benefit the glory the honor and the salvation what a beauty my dear brothers and sisters mother mary has taken us as a children of her love offered his son for our salvation for the sake of love that she has towards all of us at the cost of our pain at the cost of her suffering and the third thing that we find is mother Ma jesus entrusting his own mother to all of us my dear brothers and sisters we have clearly heard in the gospel that the words are clearly written saying that jesus from the cross says to the beloved disciple the words are not like to john beloved disciple a disciple is the one who takes up the cross and follows jesus closely and this beloved disciple was with peter when jesus spoke these words you are peter on this rock i build my church whatever you bind on this earth will be bound in heaven whatever you lose on this earth will be loosed in heaven authority which was given to peter the keys of the church were handed on to peter but this peter was seen nowhere at the cross this beloved disciple who heard all this 
never pointed a finger to peter and said lord you have given such an authority of the church to peter and he is not there but i am here not so my dear brothers and sisters rather he just took his mother the mother entrusted to him and to home my dear brothers and sisters this same disciple was also seen when the band of people who left jesus when jesus said this is my body this is my flesh this is my blood all those who eat my flesh and drink my blood will have life life eternal you know looking at listening to these words the band of people a group of people a big group left jesus and jesus looking at his disciples asked them do you also want to leave do you also want to leave and the disciples say lord whom shall we go you have the words of eternal life you have the words of eternal life and this john was also in that group who said you have the words of eternal life and he was following jesus till the cross not only till the cross beyond the cross till the end of his life he was faithful my dear brothers and sisters and to such disciple that jesus has offered or given into the hands of the apostle saying here is your mother what a beautiful thing my dear brothers and sisters mother mary constantly journeys to the people who has professed their faith in the catholic church right from the birth till the death but the sad story today is many of us many of the catholics are being attracted to the false teachings or sugar coated preachings of the people and leaving the catholic church betraying the mother who has fed with her milk my dear brothers and sisters there are so many people who have a revenge against the church and leave the church for small petty petty issues not great things because the priest has not visited the house or hasn't given attention or maybe small things we leave the catholic church but but my dear brothers and sisters catholic church has a powerful intercessor mother mary interceding for all of us whether you believe it or not once a catholic professed in the catholic church will always be guided and by interceded by our mother mary this is a beautiful story an incident which is recorded from this is a beautiful story of the youth from scotland named william who was a relative of uh, king james he was born as an heretic not believing in the in the catholic teachings he followed a wrong sect different denomination and later on enlightened by the holy spirit by the divine grace and all the more with the powerful intercession of mother mary this man got converted to the catholic church catholic church and as he was continuing his life in the catholic church one day his dead mother appeared into him his dream and she said to this son son you have professed your faith in the right church the true church which has the treasure but i am suffering because i have gone astray from the true catholic church and this son was being sad there and then he was disturbed completely he was asking the lord lord why has this happened why did my mother did not profess a faith in the catholic church and later on this same william wanted to become a catholic priest but by then he fell sick and when he was receiving the viaticum the spiritual food at that time he one priest 
on religious went close to him and then he uttered these simple words i am so glad that i am dying as a catholic who profess the true faith in the catholic church and this man also said you know the god has revealed to me that for a little time that i will be in purgatory i will suffer little because i have people to pray and offer masses in the catholic church and later on after few years to a pious religious gain god appeared to him his dream and said he is freed from purgatory what a beautiful thing my dear brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters let's note one thing catholic church is with full of rules and regulations with full of conditions for a better way for the best way there are so many easy ways that various denominations show you but they lead to death that's why jesus says only through narrow path we have life the catholic church takes the narrow path a tough path with rules and regulations to have a systematic functioning and that's why from 2020 years still the catholic church exists and runs with its own power with its own dedication without any collapse if my dear brothers and sisters today as we profess and pray and ask mother mary who is the mother of the church interceding for all of us and the foundations of the of the church the martyrs who have shed the blood and this church which exists is to make us to receive salvation therefore let's ask mother mary to intercede for all of us who are part of this catholic church and we make a strong firm resolution that i am born as a catholic and i will end my life as a catholic let's all close our eyes and pray heavenly father we thank you for speaking to us through your word and for having given us a beautiful mother a mother who prays for us a mother who intercede for us in moments of pain in moments of sorrow jesus you have given the best gift to all of us at the last breath of your life at the last drop of your blood that you have entrusted your mother to us knowing the preciousness the love love of your mother you have entrusted the same love to all of us mother mary intercede for all of us even when we go astray from you even though we may walk away from you help us that we may come back to into your arms and receive a consolation and help us to make us join the flock that your son has intended all of us to be we ask this prayer through christ our lord